GT Gamer is proudly sponsored by Into the AM. For high quality, affordable, and unique clothing, follow the link in the description and use discount code GT Gamer Official at checkout for 10% off. What's up, guys? GT Gamer here, and welcome back to Transport Fever UK. And as you probably noticed by the introduction, I now have a sponsor. So if you'd like good quality, affordable clothing, you can click the link in the description. That that will support me and help me out so just click the link in the description and use the discount code GTGamerOfficial in all capital letters to get 10% off every purchase at uh, checkout so I just thought I'd give you that message from my sponsors and thank you guys in advance right let's get on so last episode what did we do we finished off the Irish mainline and put buses in all the towns we connected Inverness to the mainline we can play this now actually and we came up with the idea of airports. Print an airport in somewhere down here and somewhere over here. That I haven't quite figured out the details of. We was also going to upgrade the trains, but we actually ended up doing that in the end. So let's check out profitability first. That's not what I wanted. Of course, now we have taken out 100 million in loans, not 30 million. Our interest at the end of the year will be a lot more. I believe it will be 100,000 dollars or pounds which however you want to look at it but I'm not quite sure so we're making two million on the West Coast Main Line TP Liverpool and Glasgow is close second with one and a half million biggest loser all of them are bus companies so I'm not really concerned about that if I'm brutally honest I suppose we could try and optimize some of the lines but that will come later I'm gonna have a look through all the lines and try and optimize them my favorite thing so far is this valley over here I love this that is just awesome. The way it cuts through the cutting and then over that little bridge over the road, that is really cool. I re I do like that. That's one of my favourite features. Right, Inverness. We need to connect you. We also need to put some buses in. So, do we have a crossover point? I don't believe we do. No, we do not. Um, let's just put a simple... I'm surprised that let me put that in, i got to be honest. Yeah, I didn't think it would let us press cr a crossing. So we're going to use platform one for that. That is absolutely fine. And I believe that's the only extra stop we have to put in. Yes, it is. So uh, let's get down here and let's select this station. And we need to look at the lines. It is the LNWR line. That is what we need. So after Edinburgh, this is going to go to Inverness, which is there. And then it's going to go back to Edinburgh. Let's make sure that did the right thing. I just closed the line because I'm a derp. Yep, yeah, that is fine. Now we need some buses in Inverness. Um, let's put a depot out here somewhere. That's the problem with such hilly terrain. It's always hard to place things. But then I suppose this game would be easy without its challenges. So I'm not complaining. Right, let's see if we can put that in. Uh, that's a horrible piece of road it does there uh, what about on this side over here oh wrong button what if we can put in yeah there we go and what do we want something cheap cheap and cheerful let's go for a sour tusha one two three four why not and this is please tell me to put a line in yes I did so now we got buses going around, we got trains going to Inverness. We are one step closer to the airport. So I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I need to do before I put them in. Um, so the line that goes to the airport, let's just have a little recap of that line. Uh, let's bring it up. We've got two and a half million, so something must be... Yeah, we've got three lines over a million now, so something must be going right. Let me turn these arrows off. Something else you may or may not notice is I've got a compensator on my audio now so my voice should be a little more clear and should be more stable if you get what I mean like it shouldn't be so up and down because a lot of that was due to my recording but now I've put a compensator in so that won't happen. Right this line starts in London, goes Birmingham, Leeds, Edinburgh, Inverness so it goes the entire length of the country pretty much. So that is quite good what have we got on there now three scotsman's that is also pretty damn good are we ready to put the airports in i think we might be the biggest issue is going to be 
place in them because the land is treacherous, let's say, and also it's going to be expensive. So let's just, oh, I didn't mean to close that. Let's just see what we can do with the airports. Uh, we'd want a medium airport. Let's just try and fit this in with three terminals. Okay, so it looks like this is about the cheapest we can put it in. 4.7 million. Oh. I just got an error of some kind. What the hell was that? That was weird. My game just closed. You could, you guys didn't see that, but my game just closed. The game with an error box that just said, error terminals not properly. Okay, that was unusual. I don't understand that. But either way, we have an airport in now. Right, now we need to somehow find a way to put them down in here. And I just want to check on the lines. Oh my god, 3 million almost. Biggest loser, South Wales main line. That's currently not making us any money. Let's, how's Bristol doing? It's still getting people, so it must be classed as a town now, surely. Um, but it's not showing up under... Ooh, game freeze. Not showing up at all here. I don't quite understand that. Aberystwyth has got this overlay, but Bristol hasn't so that usually indicates it's not a city I don't know I'm just gonna have to keep playing around with that uh, that is not good why is that growing like that I have no idea I do not understand that this game does some unusual stuff oh wow oh wow that was steep that is steep okay let's try we've got no money at all uh, I think our best bet would be this road here. Wow. So, 60 grand, but that's not the right type of road. We want... Is it that one? Yeah. And then, can we connect those? We can. Just. Wow, that is very, very steep. Right, airport. This one should be a little easier to put in. Let's get the land use up. Hmm, I spoke too soon, I think. This one... Ooh. Five million. Uh, a nice coastal airport, though. That can't be a bad thing. Anywhere? Right, okay, guys. I'm trying to build up the money for the airport, and it's taken a while, and I've worked out why. It's because the South Wales Main Line. We just haven't got the capacity to support three... What have we got on there? Yeah, 3A3, so we're going to have to send one of them back to the depot, which is unfortunate, but it's something we have to do. So you, if I can click you, come on, yeah, come on, come on, first person shoot has prepared me for this moment, there you go, and let's slow you down, wait for you to unload, one more. And you go to the depot and be so... Ah, it's on the wrong line. No. God damn. Okay, solution is rail... Ba -bum. Where am I looking? Train, depot. And let's have one of these ones. And bum, bum, bum. There you go. Perfect. And set. Go to depot and be sold. Perfect. And now, let's see if we can fit this airport in. So, where was it going? Ireland, not Wales. So, somewhere over here. Um, plane, let's turn you round. I got it down to 3 point... I believe it was 3.3 .3 million. Oh, wow, I can actually afford it. Let me pause it there before I lose some, a load of money. Where did I have it before? Where it was really, really cheap. Not there. Oh, 3.9 You know what? I'm gonna settle for that and once again I get that error message. That is so weird It puts it in but gives me an error message. That's why it wouldn't go in because the C. Oh well, it is in now so now we have to connect it to Cities Let's start with Inverness because I know how I'm gonna do Inverness first thing we want is a road 
And this is only a little street, so what I'm thinking is just like a small... I want a... Ooh, expressway, that might be good. With... No, I don't want a burst lane. And let's bring it out in an arrow straight line. There is method behind my madness. And then it can go. It's quite expensive to bring it out in a straight line. But trust me, it will work. Bank, yeah, not the nicest, but it'll do. And then we want to curve that round like that. Can we bring that down? Yes, we can. And this is going to join on not there. Yeah, that's hideous. Ooh, that was quite a good junction then. That, I will take that. So that is our train. That's a perfectly straight road up there, pretty much. That looks awesome, actually, with the trees. That's really nice. I like that. Right, and now, what I want to do is bring out a road. Preferably... Uh, no, not like that. Let's have it like that maybe and train station passenger terminus two platforms 120 this will get expand expanded uh, actually no what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put full length high speed second street connection yes and let's see if we can connect it to this road up here anywhere let's turn it around a little bit not that much we turn it around can we get it anywhere sensible come on it needs to be near the mm. okay I'm gonna have to play with the terrain a little bit so bring this up train station in now connecting this to the road will be quite fun let's bring the road out first and let's have it go all the way down steep as you'll go Ooh, is that in range? Yes, it is. Boom, perfect. And the reason I want a straight line, I just wanted the tracks to run alongside it. I think that'd be pretty awesome. We need to play it a little bit more to get the cash up.
And we are back. That was a lot harder and a lot more expensive than I thought, let me tell you guys. I made a few additions to the plan. For a start, this line no longer just goes back and forth between Inverness and Inverness Airport. It now comes around this corner and then some kind of tunnel flying junction sort of thing goes into a tunnel underneath this tunnel and comes out here and goes to Glasgow so it'll be like a Glasgow direct rail link sort of thing and in Ireland instead of connecting to Limerick it connects to Dublin on a single outside platform there let me turn the camera around there and then it comes down here parallels this track until here when it turns into a proper flying junction goes over a bridge through a tunnel and comes here to Limerick Airport all we have to do now is put in the lines, and I think that'll be quite fun, actually. So we want one, two, and three lines. So line one is going to go from there, Limerick Central, even though that's nowhere near the center of Limerick, to there. Line two, which is... All of these lines are horrible colors. That's weird. This is going to go from that passenger station there to Limerick and then down to Glasgow and back up to Inverness. I said Limerick again then. I keep getting Inverness and Limerick messed up, I don't know why. And then finally we need an airport line so it goes from there all the way down to there. Booyah, that is awesome. That is exactly how I wanted it. So, how are we going to do this? First things first, we're going to name these. So this is going to be Limerick uh, Airport Connect. Sounds good. And this is going to be... What are we going to call this? Um, what should we call this? Inverness Rail link sounds fun and this ha <laughs> ha is going to be ap for airplane passenger um <laughs> so many things i could call this main nah, i want something creative or just eh, screw it just lim to inf that's gonna mess me up because you know what i'm like with these two towns and these i forgot to put in front of them TP and once again TP that is our lines perfect now we need rail vehicles also known as trains um, would be a good place for a depot I think just by here would be okay so we want a bit of track nothing major just something like that and then this can connect onto there. And we want... I did spot something cool. I want to show you this in a minute. It's really cool. I found it purely by accident. But first, I want to put a train on here. What are we going to have? Um... Oh, yeah. British rail trains. That is what we want. That would blend in. I know these are more freight trains, but honestly, we're just going to pretend this is a Deltic, not a 37, because they look similar. So we're going to have that pulling one, two, three of these. I think that might be overkill, so I'm only going to put one train on for now. This is going on Inverness Rail Link. Oh, let's have a look at these. we got to listen to the sound on that. Oh, that's awesome. That is amazing. That is very loud, but that sounds legit. Like, I'm not even kidding. That's cool. And then over here, uh, where can we put a depot? I'm, I'm thinking just put a depot on the end, why not? Uh, let's see if we can put a piece of track like that and then connect them up. Yeah. And then we can put a depot right next to this one. This is actually working out pretty well. I don't want to jinx myself, but... I think we're doing quite well in this series. And then you buy trains. We can't use BR trains in Ireland, not really. So let's go for... 
Uh, something cool. Could always use rail buses. Hmm. <laughs> Baden's nah. We do have electrification. How much are these RE 44s? Quite expensive. Um. How much are the British rail trains? If they're not that expensive. Yes, yeah, seven million. I don't think so. Let's go for a red arrow. Screw it. Let's go for it. So there's one. Uh, realistically, I want to put two on, but we're a little bit short. So let's see what we can do before the end of the month. And by that, set you both on Limerick Airport Connect. Right, planes. Now, this is where stuff gets very, very expensive. This is the depot for an airplane. And we have a choice. we got a Douglas DC-3, a Douglas DC-4, the Lockheed Super Constellation, and the de Havilland Comet. Um, ah, just missed the end of the month. What do we want? Because this is not going to be a big line at first. This is just going to be one or two passengers. So if we put, say, the DHC Comet on, it will have way too much capacity. It can hold 21. And it will never achieve its top speed, so it won't be that efficient. Whereas something like a DC-4 or even a DC-3, eight passengers, 200 miles an hour, it could reach that. So let's put a DC-3 on there. Um... I think that would be sufficient. Eight passengers, 207 miles an hour, and they only cost 160 grand a year. Uh, 160 grand a year. Whereas a DHC Comet, oh, come on, nearly there. I want to buy one more before the end of the month, before I forget. There you go. The Comet is n a million a year, so not really that efficient. So let's set you on AP Lim Inf. And you know we're going for a ride on this. You, you're so right we're going for a ride on this. My favourite thing about planes... Ah, Okay, I'll grab you. No, you. Ah, I didn't show you the thing I want to show you. But the airports, when you go near the airports, they do like the airport sounds with the bongs and the checking in. And it is really cool. Right, let's speed you up a bit until you get on the runway. And let's watch it take off. Oh god, that's loud. Cover your ears if you have headphones in. Jeez. And we're starting our takeoff roll. Oh, no. V1. Rotate. Oh, these are so awesome. And the gear's gone up. And it's starting to turn to the right now. Oh, this is so cool. Let's go first person. Why not? Let's see if we can hit the top speed. I doubt it, but we might. Level and off. There's the other one in front of us. Oh, that's so awesome. Look, by there. And we're flying over Ireland now. There's uh, Dublin there, and Belfast in the distance. And here comes the speed, 170, 207, there we go. So these can actually hit their top speed, so they are actually quite efficient. Look at that, there's Edinburgh, Glasgow, Inverness is tucked behind that hill there. And then we're going to start slowing down and descending. And we're coming in for final approach now. And... Oop, oop. Touchdown. That was awesome. That was really, really worth it. Oh, I'm so happy. Let's see if these work. They're probably losing us money already. Uh, a lot more lines than we had before. And... AP, yep, yeah, it's losing us 26,000 already, no passengers. The Inverness Rail Link has got nine passengers though. That's interesting. Let's hope a lot of people want to get from Ireland to Scotland. I'm just having a look at the lines, and most of them are actually making a lot of money. Look at that, we got five million on the Liverpool to Glasgow line. 
Uh, the LNWA, yeah. Four, four million, that's a lot. Our biggest loser currently are the rail links and the Limerick bus line. That's not really a surprise. But nothing's losing us a lot of money at the moment. So that is absolutely awesome. Uh, I did want to say that in Glasgow, there is a stop near the station. You don't have to worry about that. I do worry about this road, though. It doesn't look right. That this is actually really cool. Oh, this is coming together. Next episode, I think, we have to connect... Uh, ooh, connecting Norwich will be a tough one. Ooh, that's going to be tricky. And then Brighton and Plymouth we need to connect. That is going to be a tough one. Hmm, how are we going to do that? Uh, I genuinely don't know. But if you'd like to find out the answer to that, make sure you guys come back for the next episode. And remember, if you want good clothes, into the AM, my sponsor. There's a link in the description for 10% off. I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.